Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rolla TX102 bike rack on our 2018 Buick Encore. If you need a little bit more than just two bikes that you may be hauling, we do have a three and four bike version available on eTrailer.com. They're all going to be the same pretty much, just different distances, but this one it does have two straps on top along with a anti-sway cradle at the bottom. And what that anti-sway cradle is going to do it's going to limit that bike to bike contact that you get when you're going down the road. This is a very entry level bike rack, but it gets everything done. It's pretty easy to get this bike off the rack. You just got to pull these down. It's a nice durable rubber strap here, which is going to protect your bikes from any scratches or abrasions. On top of that, it does leave a little bit of room underneath your frame for all your bike cables, just so they're not smashing up against your frame. Once you undo all of those, you can just go ahead and lift your bike off the rack I always just try to replace my straps when I'm not using them you don't have to it's just a habit I got into this also does come with a integrated cable lock that's stowed in our center mast here what that's going to do, it's going to wrap around your frames and attach to your this end post here. And you're going to get keys with your kit to lock it into place. It's always nice to protect your bikes from any thefts that might be happening when you're on the road. So let me do some measurements for you. Let me grab my tape measure. So on this two bike version, we are going to have about... 20 and a half inches of added length to our vehicle and that will change with the two and or three and four bike versions as well and I'm measuring from this post right here for where our bike cable hooks up to and if you need to condense those arms down for it to fit into your garage all you really have to do is just pull this out rotate it around and then put it back in place that's gonna cut our distance down to a little short of a foot so 12 inches from this point right here to our bumper. Let's just say you need to grab something out of the back of your Encore. All you really need to do is take out this pin and clip. And it's going to fold down like so. And then we're not going to have any contact with anything that is... We're not going to have any contact with our bike rack and we can grab anything out of the back. To put it back into place, you just lift it back up and replace your clip. Find the sweet spot and then snapping it back down. So as far as ground clearance goes, this does sit about nine inches from our hitching receiver and at that point we are going to have about 10 inches of ground clearance. That isn't a whole lot of ground clearance, so be sure to keep in mind that you do have that distance when you're going up any steep driveways. This does come with two different types of shanks, and it's actually a pretty unique design. You can flip this around. You can flip this around to be able to be compatible with any inch and a quarter hitch receiver along with any two inch hitch receiver. And we do have an anti-rattle bolt, which what that does is takes out all that shake and play inside our hitch. As you can see, there's no play down there, and our car is really moving. And that just about does it for a look at the Rolla TX102 bike rack on our 2018 Buick Encore. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.